Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen College Campus Cooking. We are here at Delaware Valley University with Chef Lee Chismar. Welcome, Chef. Thank you, Tina Marie. From Belit Restaurant in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yes, correct. And we have with us Tim Weingartner, who is a student, actually a senior here at Del Val. Yep. Welcome, gentlemen. So, Chef, we have a lot of dishes here. Yep, so these are all kind of uh, some really nice dishes that you could serve by themselves or together. Um, so over here I have some sushi rice okay. that we've started, okay? And, and that's one of the things, sushi rice is a short grain rice. It's very high in starch. To cook with it, you need to rinse it until the water runs clear, then usually soak it until the, the nucleus of the rice grain kind of becomes translucent, and then you're good to go equal parts water or stock with your rice itself. So it usually Great takes tip. about 15 minutes, so we have that kind of started already. For the peanut shrimp, there's a couple things that we want to start marinating. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get this into a bowl here. I think, Tim, you're in charge of the marinating and all these various bowls. Yes. So I believe and, Chef is gonna be keeping you busy. And we're gonna give you the mandolin um, oh, to give a yes. shot. So here we have some really nice local radishes. I'm just gonna cut the tips off here to make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna slide over to the plate, and Tim, you're just gonna kinda slice these. You wanna be careful. I always try to sacrifice one or two new culinary students to it, <laughs> because it's very easy to cut yourself, but we've got it setting. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have you slice a few of those. To have you ever up. worked with a mandolin before, Tim? I have. Okay, yep. that's good. Which so is this good. is not your first time. So here are some radishes there to kinda start. So next I'm gonna start with our peanut shrimp. Um, and I have a little bit of peanut butter. Very right? nice. So this is GGS. It's ginger, shallots, garlic ah. that we have minced up. And mm. that's kind of, in Asian culture, yeah. this is kind of the workhorse. Sort of, of like a mirepoix for Asian exactly, food. Exactly, exactly. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this to it. Very nice, uh, right to our regular creamy peanut butter. Yes. Um, and I'll take that plate when you're finished with it. So Tim, have you done a lot of hands-on work in your curriculum here at DelVal? Uh, yeah, I'd say more than half my classes all have labs attached. Really? So it's every day I'm doing hands-on type of things. So it's not that, this is what I love about DelVal education. You're not you know, just sitting, receiving information in a classroom or a lecture hall. You're actually getting up doing hands-on work, hands-on real life experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's part of the whole E360 program too. Yep. And you did a really interesting internship. Uh, what, what, what exactly was your internship? So I did R&D at Molson Coors, which is a beer company. They make like um, Miller Lite and Coors Lite. Very cool. So I got to help um, kind of make the new recipes, work in the brewery and get a full grasp of you know, how the beer is made. That's fascinating. Mm. That's a great experience. I'm sure you were the envy of many of your friends being able yeah. to work in that environment. Good so chef, we have some cucumbers. So this is cucumbers and we're gonna use these as a salad to garnish with the radishes that we just slice into the poke bowl itself. So Tim, if you want to go ahead and slice some of those guys up. And next, I'm just going to come over here. Our sushi rice is just about where we want it. Excellent. Right. Great. You can see it's nice and still a little bit starchy, kind of sticky. This I'm is let, what we want. Yes, it is what we want. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, and then we're going to add a little bit of rice vinegar. If it's too hot, it absorbs too much vinegar. Okay. And if it's too cold, not enough. So we just kind of want to let it come down to about room temperature. Room temperature. And then we're going to add basically about one-fifth of our cooked rice volume um, to that itself. All right. And so we want to make sure, how's, how's, our, uh, oh, nice. how's, how's Tim's technique here with the it's, mandolin? It's pretty good. I was actually going to go this way, but I really like that. So let's keep going with that. Cool. All right. Okay, very um, good. And I think you're, you're so I you would stop right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. And also be careful getting too close to his hands, correct? Mandolin is super yes. sharp. As you right? get down, you want to be really careful there. Yes, All right, sir. so we're going to drop these guys right in there. It right. sort of matches the shredded in our slaw. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. And I'll show you guys uh, one more technique with that too as we get down. So you can leave that there. I have one more thing for you to um, slice. This is some summer squash. Very nice. Um, or zucchini in this case. And Tim, this time you are actually going to slice it the same direction. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go right down just like that. That's good. All right. So it's a very soft touch. Yes, very yes. soft touch. You want to be careful. I'm Ben Russelowski and I serve as president of DelVal. The biggest part of my role as president is providing opportunities for our students to launch them on their first destination post-graduation, but also to prepare them for a career path. 
what makes our program unique for food science and nutrition science is that we're small, so we really get to know our students and we get to understand where they want to go in their careers and help to support them. The other big piece is that we have hands-on learning. So if you like learning by doing, this is a great place to be and it's a great way to learn and for us to teach. So back to our peanut sauce. Yes. I have peanut butter, soy okay. sauce. Good. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of sherry vinegar, um, which kind of is similar to like a black rice vinegar. Okay. I have rice vinegar here. All right. I have a little bit of lime juice, and then here, just a touch of blended oil, and that's just a neutral oil, canola, Is it maybe a, a, a canola, vegetable. vegetable oil? Yes. Okay. All right. And then lastly, I have a little bit of sesame oil. Okay. Um, okay, for so sure. from there, we're gonna mix this up. Why don't you take a little bit of the scallion there and drop it right in. Right in? Yep. Just maybe a tablespoon? Yep, a tablespoon would be perfect. Um, we have some peanuts there too. Let's go you ahead and throw it. those guys in. Is that enough, Chef? That's perfect. Uh, maybe one more little sprinkle. Okay. There. So I am okay. just gonna add just a touch more lime here and just a little bit more rice vinegar and I'm kind of working on smell I was there. going to say, how are you? You're not tasting it, so how so do you not know yet. what to so add? I'm just about to taste it, but I can tell by the consistency yes. that it still needs a little bit of love, a little bit of liquid to kind of thin it out. See how it's coming together there? It almost looked a little bit broken before. Yes, very like nice. Right it's coming together, together more like a paste. Exactly. All right, so we're gonna do one little pinch of salt there, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna add a little bit more lime. Okay. And then we'll come in, and I think we're ready to go ahead and add noodles to this. So right. have our noodles already been cooked? So these are already cooked. Uh, these are ramen noodles that we use at the restaurant. You could use rice noodles if you wanted. Um, so we're just gonna throw all this stuff right in there. Yep. That's terrific. And so I love how the sauce just sort of coats the yeah, noodles, and that, right? It's just going to kind of, you can see how. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. All right. And let's, I'm going to add just a little bit more sprinkle of mm -hmm. scallion there for color. Um, and you can see we have it just kind of where we want it. Yes. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to plate this, and then we'll use the bowl to mix our shrimp up there. Excellent. All right. So I'm just going to come over and drop this right into here. And then, so the same thing, I'm just going to go ahead, these are shrimp that we've grilled off. Um, and this, I'm just going to use a little bit of soy, okay. lime juice, rice vinegar, and the neutral oil. And just a touch of sesame, it goes really nice with the peanut butter uh, or the peanut sauce. Some scallions. Scallions. All right, so we'll toss those and we're just going to put this aside until we're ready to kind of finish that And this up. is so it marinates a bit? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. Our slaw. Here, this is our slaw. We're going to throw a little bit of jalapeno. Okay, so a little heat. And this is kind of the same, this is what I call quick pickle. So I'll throw a little extra vinegar, that's probably about a quarter cup of um, rice vinegar. That was a little bit of sesame oil. We'll do just a touch of lime juice and our blended oil. Very nice. All right, just a pinch of salt, a little bit of sesame. How efficient, everything at your fingertips, <laughs> yeah. right? All right? The setup is everything. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, there we have that. Okay, Very nice. Next, so Tim, I'm gonna have you slice some tomatoes. Um, so here we have a purple Cherokee, a green zebra, and a badger flame. So you're just gonna slice them like that. I just took the stem out. We're gonna go ahead and slice that and just kind of wedge it into little wedges. Cool. All right, just be careful that knife is getting a little... Little dull? Yes, a little dull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so from there, we can actually drop those right into a bowl. And just let me see as you put them in, let's just double check the amounts that you're doing. Uh. All right, so we'll go ahead right like that. Um, okay, so next we're gonna switch over to the salmon. Okay, uh, this the is the poke salmon bowl. poke bowl. Yes. So this is my salmon. One of my techniques is I actually quick cured this. All right, so you can see how it's a little bit sticky. Tell us about that process. Okay, so basically you're gonna dice up your fish. This, you could do this with tuna the same way. Um, and then what I do is I cover it in salt and a little bit of sugar into a mixing bowl almost as if it's a gumdrop. You want it coated in that sugar and salt. And then I we let have it 10 go. 10 minutes left, chef. Then I let it go about um, 25 minutes. Okay. And I rinse it, right? And then it's seasoned perfectly. Um, it comes out a little bit firmer. 
um, and it comes, it's just really kind of beautiful fish. I love the gumdrop visual. Kathy Payne, I am Vice President for Enrollment Management. Enrollment management incorporates uh, the whole student experience for our prospective families. It is traditional undergraduate day admission, so the students that you see walking around the campus who live in our residence halls, um, as well as financial aid because investment in you know, the student's future is so important. We want to make a DelVal education affordable. Food science and nutrition are one of our smallest majors, but there's great work opportunities and there are great needs for food scientists. So we have 100% placement with our food science majors. I'm gonna just kind of coat this in blended oil and a little bit of soy. I think you can go ahead and add that all right to the salad Excellent. there. Right here. Um, so I got my lime juice. I like to coat this because I think it looks beautiful, one, texture-wise, yes, uh, but also in color. So I have a little bit of chives and a little bit of sesame seed. Oh, and I'm just gonna do a touch of sesame seed oil. Very nice. All right. Now, Tim, you were a transfer student here at DelVal. Yep. What made you choose the school? Um, well, DelVal is very uh, generous with their scholarships, as well as it's a really unique kind of farm school. Yes. So there's a lot of kind of degrees you wouldn't really think about all together under one roof. And your major is? Uh, food technology. Food technology. So, yep. Learning about the science and microbiology, chemistry behind food. That's interesting. So yep. you do a lot of, you have a lot of classes perhaps in food chemistry, science, science food related classes like that? Yep. A lot of chemistry, a lot of microbiology. Um, yeah. Very nice. What are we adding, Chef? All right. So this is just some uh, red pickled onions. Love the color. All I do with this is I'll julienne my onion. Um, I usually will do rice vinegar or champagne vinegar to cover um, and then sugar just until you take the edge of the vinegar away and you have these beautiful onions. This is something, these have obviously been pickled for a couple days. It's something you can do quickly and then you get really the the contrast of the pink, the white of the red onion to a beautiful red onion on the top there. Yes. Um, so this is going to be one of the, the things that we're going to use to garnish our poke. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit little of jalapenos. Heat. Yeah, just because it's fun, but you don't have to. All okay. Right. So, so here I have, these are just soy marinated mushrooms, a little wakimi seaweed salad. And then right here I have... Um, what kind of mushrooms are they, Chef? So these are actually cremini, royal trumpet, maitake, oyster mushrooms, um, oh. and shiitake mushrooms. You love mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they are my favorite. Um, so, basically this is marinated in, it's one part soy sauce, one part rice vinegar, two parts mushroom stock. I also have a tomato marinated tofu that we're going to use to garnish the zucchini and tomato salad. That sounds delicious, tomato marinated is tofu. So same thing, one part rice vinegar, okay. one part soy, two part tomato. Okay. And you can just kind of take, you know, any tomatoes that you have, cut up cook them down a little bit. You could use a nice Jersey canned tomato, which works out really nice too. Um, Excellent. All right, so this will be our little mushroom tofu salad. We have our radish, uh, pickled onion salad, right and here. our salmon the ready Tim to made go. for us. So our rice has been cooling down. So I'm just gonna come so in So it's here. no longer steaming. You're thinking perhaps this is the right temperature. I think it's the right temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a touch of sesame oil. It's a big bottle of sesame oil. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You always want to use We've that been sparingly. using a lot of it, I guess. Yeah. All right. So I go ahead and add a little bit of sesame seeds to this and then rice vinegar. So I'm looking for about, about a fifth of my rice volume okay. to rice vinegar. All okay. Right? So I'm just going to kind of stir this around. And it's really nice what's coming down in room temperature. With the poke bowl, you kind of want your rice to be um, warm. Not hot, because it's going with the cold fish, but it also shouldn't be cold. All right, so we're good on this one. And then we're gonna come over and just kind of finish our salad up here. So we have our tomatoes. Tim, why don't you go ahead and add your zucchini into there. I'm just this gonna a... do a pinch of the GGS. Um, I like that, the GGS. <laughs> and then I'm gonna coat with a little bit of blended oil here. Um, also to this, I do have a pesto, um, and this is an arugula pesto um, that has pistachios, garlic in it. Uh, there is no cheese in here. So one of the things I think is kind of incredible, this is soy sauce. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to it. And then rice vinegar, this is something you wanna do towards the end because it will start to oxidize. 
Um, so I'm just going to kind of set that to the side. Um, all right, so we have our GGS, we have a little bit of blended oil, and then it's the same kind of thing. This is just a balance of um, a little bit of soy, a little bit of lime juice, and the acid really kind of starts to break down mm -hmm. um, the zucchini or yes. the summer squash in this, in this instant, and it kind of, all those flavors will just start to kind of leach out salt. The last thing that I'm going to do is I have a little bit of my tofu marinade. Looks so pretty. I'm so, so excited to taste that. I'm just going to dump in the marinade from there. Full to kind of, of flavor. Who off. said tofu does not have that's to be right, completely that's flavorful, right? It's, right? it's actually one of my favorite things to do is marinate the tofu. Um, just we can it play with so it. You can do flavor. so much with it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I think we're just about ready to plate. We make sure that the admission process for all of our prospective students is totally easy. We want to make sure that they have multiple means to make application, that it's easy to submit all the materials required to get an admission decision, and what we really want to do is immediately have the students engage and their families with our amazing team of admission professionals. They're going to help guide them through that whole process. DelVal is committed to programs that allow you to elevate your success and prepare you for a career. So over here I have some beautiful um, baby bok choy. I love bok choy. And I'm just going to kind of line this in here. Um, and I just kind of think of this as like making a nest. Yes. <laughs> for the rest of the ingredients. It sort of looks like a nest too. <laughs> yeah, I love so. that a lot of these ingredients uh, can be harvested right here at Delaware Valley University. Right? I'm sure you're noticing yeah. that as you're seeing chef work among yep. all these bright colors and beautiful bounty, but in the greenhouses, so many of them are grown right here on the university campus, which is so cool, really. All right, so Tim, next you're just gonna kinda sprinkle these around. You don't need all of them. And then we're gonna go right into the poke bowl. Okay, so next, let's go with our mushroom and wakime salad. So we have our rice in there. Um, Tim, if you wanna finish this guy up, um, go ahead and sprinkle some peanuts over the top and a little bit of scallions and then that one's going to be ready to go. So this I'm kind of just going to build around. This is kind of neat because it's kind of like a ramen bowl too where you have your different components and we're just working our way through. Oh, I like that. You're setting it up like a ramen bowl. Exactly. Um, all right, so next we have our salad and then last we're ready for our salmon. Oh, I think we're ready to taste. I'm getting very hungry. Yes. How about you, Tim? Me too. <laughs> um, and then the last thing we'll probably do is just add a avocado, a couple slices of avocado on there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I like to do when I'm working with my avocado is you can actually just kind of slice it in the skin. All right. That's another great tip. And I'm just going to dice this, and Tim, I'm going to have you just kind of scoop probably this half out oh. right into the center here, okay? So you're just going to kind of work right down this side here and kind of sprinkle it right in the center there, okay? Um, so next we have our squash okay. and tomato salad. So why Finish don't we go ahead and garnish, and garnish that with that. a little bit of scallion and sesame also, and it's a really nice poke bowl. So you got a little Beautiful. bit of scallion. Um, and let's do a little bit of yep. sesame. We're gonna start with our salad here. I have, this is also ruby streaks or red mustard green. All right, so we have our greens down. Next, I'm just gonna come in and we're gonna plate this guy. So this is kind of one of those things where I'm just gonna take a little bit of tomato. I'm gonna work my zucchini in as I go around. All right. Lots of different textures Lots and sizes. Lots of different textures. Tim, while we're doing this, why don't you go ahead and hit me with some tofu. Just kind of mixed around there. And I do also love the liquid that is in the bottom of this bowl. So I'm just kind of getting that all together there. I'm going to add a little bit more bok choy. Look how the tofu blends right into the plate, you know, all it's, the ingredients. It's really, it's really pretty beautiful. All right, next we have our little pesto that we're just going to drizzle over the top. And then what I like to kind of do with this is we have the pistachios. Um, Here? Yep. I'm going to sprinkle that. I have a little dried Japanese pepper flakes on the top. And last but not least, a little bit of sesame seeds. And we're set. We're ready to taste. We are. 
Okay, gentlemen, it is time to taste from this beautiful bounty we have here. I think we're going to go right in for the poke bowl first, right. right? How about you, Tim? What do you think you're going to try? Uh, I'm going to do the poke bowl as well. Yeah. Very popular dish. Mm. It's so fresh and bright. The, the mixture, the ingredients, the citrus, it's so bright. And the flavored tofu. I really mm. love those sesame seeds that give the texture to the salmon. Absolutely delicious tofu. Thank Again, you. bright and flavors. Go, let's dig into this. This one's... And this is the shrimp. Sometimes you just got to go to town on the noodles. Mm. Delicious, peanutty taste. Gorgeous. Well, Love everything much. here. Tim, we wish you the best <laughs> of luck. I gave up. <laughs> We wish you the best of luck, job. Tim, as you as a senior. You're going to go ahead out in the world and use all the skills that you've learned here at Delaware Valley University. I hope you're excited. We're excited for you. And Chef Lee Chismar, it's always such a pleasure to have Thank you, you so here much. on the it's Chef's Kitchen. Nice to be you've here. taught us a lot today, Thank and you. we appreciate it. You're welcome. I love coming here to cook with the students and show the techniques that we use at the restaurants to bring beautiful dishes that are a little bit simpler and hopefully something that can capture a student's imagination and desires for what they're trying to eat. I love being here at Del Valley to kind of work with the students and show them, you know, what they're learning in class to actually bring it together to put it on the plate. I really enjoyed being on college campus cooking. It was cool to get to learn a lot of different techniques uh, and different ideas of how to cook while I'm here at Delva.